There may come a time when you're doing travel for a client that you have to create a map for them. <laughs> that is what we're gonna be talking about in this video. Now, you might not have known that you can create custom Google Maps with custom points, but this is something that I do for clients frequently, especially if they go to places that they've never been before. Okay, so let's pretend your client is going to Boston for the first time ever, and you're booking excursions, points of interest. They've asked your opinion, uh, Aaron, what should I see when I'm in Boston? And that's where this map comes in handy. So the first thing we're going to do is title our map. Uh, this is more for you and for the sake of your client so that when they are looking at this link, they know what the heck this is all about. So the way that these maps work is that they're really built upon layers. That's what makes this thing so, so cool. So different layers come with different pin colors. Think of layers like categories. Um, so the first category could be points of interest. Maybe your client has no clue what's in Boston. They don't know what to see. You're going to create some um, points of interest for them. Then we're going to add another layer. This layer, we're going to rename this, is going to be where to eat. Now you're not limited by layers at all. You can add as many as you want. So the first thing we're going to do is start to actually put some of these things into the map. On our first step in research, we're going to start with things to do in Boston. Museum of Fine Arts, Museum of Science, of the Aquarium. We're gonna add some of these elements so that we can just start adding some of these things to our map. So we've pulled up the aquarium. You know your client's gonna like that. What we're going to do is simply click add to map. It is here under points of interest. The reason that it's gone right to this layer is because I had pre-selected this layer in the first place. But if you, if it did go to a wrong layer or you want to move it later on, it's really simple. You drag and you drag it to the layer that you want. So um, now it is in the where to eat layer, but I want it in my points of interest to keep it simple. You'll also notice a few other things that Google Maps has done for us. Number one, it's a blue pin. Um, it just assigns a random color. If you want to keep it that way, great. If you want to change the color, you can choose to do so like this. Um, I will show you how I use colors and icons in different layers when we get there. You can also edit. Um, this square right here is fully editable. Um, so it does pull up some of the Google attributes like um, the phone number, the star ratings, which I love because then when clients click on this pin, they'll be able to quickly see, hey, the, you know, the aquarium gets 4.5 stars. Looks pretty great. Let's do it. But I suggest as assistants that we go above and beyond so we can also add things like price per person. Wow. So um, again, we're just eliminating things that our clients have to hunt for. So that's just one option right there. I'm going to add one more. Oh, Faneuil Hall. Fan you will. Do you think I can spell that? You think I can remember how to spell that? Fanual Hall. Okay, I want to add a little marketplace and I want this to be in my point of interest. So I'm going to, oops, I'm sorry. First I need to add it to the map. Fanual Hall, add to map. There we go. And I'm going to add something like eateries. Okay, so let's actually just move to our Second point, uh, <laughs> so assuming you've done tons of research, maybe you've even made reservations for your person already. I'm gonna add this steakhouse to the map as well, and I'm simply going to drag this one down to places to eat. Now here's we, where we can differentiate points on the map. I can change the color. Everything in the where to eat could simply be orange. Um, I could also change the things here so I could indicate this as a little um, glass bar icon. Okay, great. And then last but not least, let's add a hotel. Add to map. And then I'll, I'll show you after these three points. Um, but when you're ready to share, simply click the share button. And what I like to do is let anyone with this link view it. So you will simply copy this link. You can copy it here, close, 
and then you can share this with your client. So I'm gonna open an incognito tab right now so you can see what your client sees. So we're looking at the map that we've just created. This is exactly what your client will see. They'll see how many points of, uh, they'll see the different layers. So very easy again, when things are color coded, you can see points of interest on this map are blue and uh, where to eat in orange. And then of course our hotel in green. So the benefit of a map like this is that when your client is traveling somewhere that they're unfamiliar with, it's easy for them to simply pull this link up, click on a point of interest. So they've clicked here. They're looking at this and they'll see Faneuil Hall. They'll see your description. So any of the additional details that you've added for them, as well as um, thanks to Google, something that makes Google so great is that they pulled up things like the websites. Uh, phone number, etc., and they can do that with with anything. Um, so here you would see their price per person, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So when they want to go between layers, they simply go back where to eat. Let's get you back. Now they also don't have to click on these pins um, if they're not seeing a pin or they want to go straight to a point. They can also uh, click on the link on the sidebar. Um, and then again, Google will pull up everything from the reviews, the location, the directions, um, and so on and so forth. So I find maps to be really handy because it takes the thinking away from the equation. Your client can simply go to a new city or a new destination, whether it's for work or personal or family related stuff, and they can really enjoy their time by getting some of that planning out of the way.